Hi, I'm Kathy at the Delphi Quilt Company. Today I'm going to show you how to make these fun and easy little bags that you could use for shopping or for gift bags. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Okay, to make this bag you're going to first need the template. We have this available for free on our website at www.delphiquiltco.com. It's under free patterns and resources. For fabric, you're going to need a 2 inch wide strip that's about 40 to 41 inches. If you can cut it on the bias, that's great. Or if you have bias tape, that works really good as well. You also need two half yard cuts of fabric. You want to make sure that your half yard cuts of fabric are whole half yards and not cut apart because you are going to need to keep that fold that's at the very top. And then for tools, you just need your scissors, rotary cutter, ruler, some binding clips, and sewing machine. Okay, let's get started. So first things first is we want to cut out our template A and template B. Okay, once you have your templates cut, just set those aside for now. For your half yards, you want to cut them down a little bit shorter on the non-folded side. You're going to want them to be 18 inches wide by 20 inches long. And I've already done that with my two half yards here. And then we're going to fold it again. So we've already got the fold here at the top. We're going to fold it over. Okay, just make sure your edges are all lined up. Give it a good pressing. And then you're going to take your two templates. Template A, the long edge is going to be on the raw edge of your fabric. And then the short edge is going to be on the fold line up here. Just going to clip that in place. And then for template B, the top edge is going to be on the fold and then the side edge is also going to be on the fold. I'm going to clip that in place as well. And then we're just going to cut along here. I'm just going to trace first and then cut it. And then you're going to repeat that with your other half yard cut. Again, make sure the fold's at the top. Fold it over. Line up your folded edge and your raw edges. Give that a nice finger press. And then same thing, very top of template A is on the fold. And then template B, the top is on the fold and the side is on the fold as well. Once you have your templates cut out of both of your half yard cuts, we're going to open this up and we are going to place them right sides together. And you're going to just line up these edges and the curved edges on each piece. You just put a few pins or clips to keep that in place. Okay, once you have this both sides pinned and lined up here, I'm going to sew a quarter inch right along this edge, along the curve down through here and then back up and I'm going to repeat that on the other side down here. So I'm going to go sew that and I'll be right back. Okay, now that we've got the side sewn, we're just going to go ahead and clip along up to the stitch line of these rounded edges here. Okay, now that those are clipped, we are going to turn this inside out. So after we turn this right side out, then we're just going to take our fingers and just further push out this curve a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and press so that the seams that we just sewed are nice and flat. Okay, now that I've got these handles pressed, you could, if you wanted to, do a top stitching along this edge just to give it a little extra detail. I'm going to skip that though. So now we're going to sew the sides and the bottom of the bag. We're going to open this back up again. And then for the outer layer, I'm going to put right sides together. And then for the lining is also going to be right sides together. And then I'm just going to line up the edges on each of those and the bottom and the seam line. And I'm going to either clip or pin this in place. I'm going to do that both on the lining and the outer fabric. Okay, once you've got all of your outer edges pinned or clipped, then go ahead and sew a quarter inch all the way around the outside of this bag. 
Okay, now that we've got the entire perimeter sewn on this bag, we're going to cut out the corner so that we can box the corners of the bag. So to do that, just take your ruler and we're going to do a 2 inch by 2 inch square out of each of the corners. And then you're going to repeat that on the other three. And then to sew the box corners, we're just going to reach into the bag, open it up a little bit, and then take the seams and you're going to line that up. And we're just going to stitch a quarter inch to close this gap up. And we're going to repeat that on the other three corners as well. Okay, now that I got all the bag corners sewn to box it out, I'm going to turn this bag inside out. You got to kind of give it a good shake and then put the lining inside the bag. So now we're going to close up this top part by making a binding out of the strips, our two inch strips. So the first thing you need to do is take your two inch strip. Let me cut off the salvage if you have that. And then we're going to fold this in half and then we're going to press it. So I'm going to go do that and be right back. Okay, now that I have the strip folded in half and pressed, I'm going to attach it to the top here and I'm going to do this very similar to how I would bind a quilt. Make sure you've got both layers lined up. Have this overlapping once I get the other side joined around. So I'm going to start this over a little bit, but I'm not going to start sewing probably until about this point on the bag. So I'm just going to leave probably about four inches of slack there. And then making sure that I have both sides, I'm going to clip or pin that in place. And the fold of the strip is down and the raw edges line with the raw edges of the bag. So I'm just going to put a few clips to get started now and then when I'm at my sewing machine I'm going to just keep moving this and aligning it as I go, especially around that curve. And I'm just going to go nice and slow around that curve just to make sure that I've got it all lined up. So I'm going to sew that and I'll be right back. You may find it helpful when you're getting to the curve to slightly pull the curve part so it's more straight and then place the binding strip over that to sew it down. Okay, so I've got the binding all sold on to the front and I did stop a few inches short because I want to overlap these and then I'm going to sew them together after I trim them. So we need to overlap these two pieces a quarter inch. So I'm going to just trim this top one off a little bit and then the bottom one should only be overlapped by a quarter inch. I'm just going to eyeball this and then I'm going to trim that off. So if you see here, these two pieces just overlap a little bit. And then we're going to open up these pieces. So we're going to put them right sides together, line up their edges, and I'm just going to do a quarter inch seam allowance on this edge here. And then once you've sewn that together, it'll just naturally close this up without leaving much gap that you have to sew over later. So then I'm just going to finish this then by sewing a quarter inch to close this up. Okay, now that I've got that binding sewed on to the top, I'm just going to do some clipping wherever there's a curve up to the stitch line just to help turn that binding around a little bit more. And if you want, maybe just remove a little bit of that bulk, especially along those curves. Okay, now that I have those curves clipped, I'm going to roll the binding over and then to the back, to the lining of it. And I'm going to make sure that the binding goes beyond the sewing line that you see on the lining part. And then this is where your clips come in handy. I'm going to clip that in place. And just do that all the way around the top of the bag. And then to finish the top off, we're going to just sew as close to the edge as we can get to close up the binding on the other side. You might want to change your top thread to match the lining fabric that you're using. I would leave the bobbin thread to match your outer fabric. Okay, once you got the binding sewn on, your bag is done. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do and visit us at DelphiQuiltCo.com. Have a great day.